Good evening and welcome to Colorado Mesa University Nitty Gritty. I'm Carly Hanley here with Dr. Gigi Richard, the director of the Ruth Powell Hutchins Water Center here at CMU. Can you please tell us a little bit about the water center? Sure. The water center was created in 2011. It was kind of a grassroots effort from local water professionals in western Colorado who were interested in having a center on the western slope of Colorado that was focused on water issues that are specific to the upper Colorado River Basin. So we focus on water issues in western Colorado and then also in the other parts of the upper Colorado River Basin that are in other states. And the idea is to sort of be a clearinghouse, a center for information, for education, outreach, um, research and dialogue related to water issues in the Upper Colorado River Basin. Great, and what is the student involvement like around the Water Center? Yeah, we've had a, a few different projects that have involved students. Um, one is a, a really fun program that we started here at CMU uh, two years ago, and the original name for it was a student water field conference, and it sort of morphed into a new project called Water Diplomats. And the first year that we held the program, uh, CMU hosted it, and we had students who study water from all over the state of Colorado, um, and a few students from CMU also. And we spent a weekend out in the field, floating on the river, uh, visiting farms, eating food gr grown with Colorado River water, um, and trying to get an understanding of you know the some of the aquatic um, habitat issues in the Colorado River and the Grand Valley, and then also how water is used in agriculture. And then the following year, Metro State University hosted the program, and so we took a group of CMU students over to Denver and kind of got the urban picture of water and uh, had some fun field trips, a really neat program, and the students actually received a stipend for participating in that if they came back to CMU and gave a presentation about what they learned about water there. And so we'll be hosting it again this year in September, and we'll be advertising and looking for applicants of students to participate again. That's great, and how do students apply to be a participant? The Water Center website would be the best place to start looking for that. So as soon as our application is available, it'll be on the Water Center website, which is just um, the coloradamesa.edu slash water dash center. Perfect. Yep. Um, and can you tell me a little bit about your um, your specific position with the Water Center and what you do? Sure. I'm the faculty director of the, of the Water Center. Um, my colleague Hannah Holm is the coordinator and really it's just the two of us that run our water center and so I tend to deal with more of the academic and higher ed sort of um, related issues uh, that the water center deals with. We organize a big regional conference every year and we work together on that and in the spring we have an annual water course and um, we also have field trips and other activities. That one of our main um, goals is to try to get the public to be more educated about water issues. And I should mention too that uh, one of the other ways that we do involve students is we love to have students come volunteer at our events and then they get free admission and free food and, um, and they can participate in any event that's at the, um, hosted by the Water Center here on campus for free. And it, it's great opportunity for students who are interested in any sort of water related job or career to do some networking. So that's another really good opportunity for students. We've also had water, um, sorry, work study students work with us in the Water Center and we're always interested in having students work with us too if, if they um, need a part-time job. So. Very nice. Yeah. Going back to the events that mm -hmm. the Water Center holds on campus, what type of events are they? Like what would students be doing if they yeah. volunteer? So we, students often help with uh, checking people in at registration and running mics around for you know Q and A sessions, um, helping with loading PowerPoints, that sort of thing. So that's kind of the volunteer activities that we have. Um, one of our big events that's coming up, and I know we already have uh, over 400 people signed up to come, so wow. it'll be a big one. It's on April 13th, so it's it'll be here soon, and it's a movie about the Dolores River and some of the issues and problems and challenges that have, um, they're facing on the Dolores River. It's a film that's called The River of Sorrows, and then there'll be a panel discussion afterwards. And that one, if you register online and you're 21, you get a ticket for a free beer. We have a really There's an attraction, <laughs> right? <laughs> we have a really close relationship with Palisade Brewing Company, and they uh, donate, they like to give us beer in cans because that's what river runners drink. <laughs> so, um. Great. Mm -hmm. um, and going back to your position, how mm -hmm. did you 
tell us a little bit more about yourself. How did you come across this position? Sure. What else do you do on campus? Yeah, so I, I'm actually a professor in the geology program, but I'm not a geologist. I'm a civil engineer. I do surface water hydrology. So I was hired by CMU in 2002 to start up a program related to water at, at CMU, then Mesa State College. Um, and so we created a watershed science minor program. Uh, which a lot of geology, environmental science, and biology majors tend to take. So it sort of allows you to demonstrate focused coursework on water-related uh, topics. And so as part of that, I've been, you know, I've been working in water for years and years. And so um, I, when this local group started forming to try to uh, flesh out whether or not a water center would be a good thing to have on campus, you know, it was just sort of natural for me to roll into that position. So. Where is the water center located? Our office is in Lowell Heine Hall. Okay. Um, great. And is there anything else that you want students to know about the water center? Maybe how to get more involved or anything else along those lines? Um, yeah, so one of the things we'd really love to see happen is to form a student water club on campus. I think it would be pretty exciting to have an, um, a student organization that brings together students interested in water issues, because I know uh, there are a lot of students in the social sciences and political science and uh, sociology who are interested in, in water issues. And so if we could kind of bring together the students from the sciences and the students from the social sciences and maybe in business, there are plenty of business opportunities related to water. Engineering students, we're starting a new civil engineering program and students in that program may be interested in water. So I hope in the future that we can sort of have a, um, a student organization or student club that would be focused on water. Cool. And just to wrap up, what are some of the um, problems with water that people may not be aware of. Just some of just some of them. You don't have to go into complete I know there's a bunch. Yeah, but. we could spend the whole semester. I do right. spend a whole semester <laughs> talking about that. Um, so specifically in Colorado, of course, there's the the issue that we run into with the quantity of water. You know, here in Grand Junction we only get nine inches of rain a year and we rely on the Colorado River for our main water supply. And and also people on the front range also rely on that that water, as well as people in California and Arizona and Utah and New Mexico. And so we're all trying to share this limited resource. And as climate changes, as temperatures increase, the, the strain placed on that resource is, is just going to increase. And so, you know, as we all work together to try to be more conservative and efficient with our water use, I, you know, that's one of our, our biggest challenges that we face in the Western US and in particular, Western Colorado. Great. Yes. Well, thank you so much for joining us You're today. Welcome. And Thanks. please stop by Dr. Richard's office if you have any other questions. Thanks. And thank make you. it a great day, Mavericks.